So I'm here to talk about the Lisburn Community Fire Companies Festival. And what's interesting about the festival is that uh, it was the first fundraiser for the fire company, even before there was a fire company. Uh, in the summer of 1954, they held their carnival so they could get some cash in the bank. And then later that year, they incorporated the Lisburn Fire Company. So the festival has been uh, continuously happening for 66 years. And I have chaired the festival for the last 35. I started when I was 21 because I didn't see the, the carnival getting any bigger or growing and decided that I could make a difference. So everything that we make here at the festival is used to maintain the operations of the fire company. Um, it pays the bills for the year. It doesn't nearly come close enough to buying a new fire truck or a piece of equipment, but it keeps the lights on and pays all the bills for the year. So our festival is all run by volunteers, and it usually takes about 150 folks to run the carnival. So the festival attracts patrons of all ages, but the mainstay of our clientele is an older folk that come out and spend their money for the food. They'll bring their lawn chairs, and they'll sit and listen to the music. This past year, the Lisburn Fire Company Festival had to be done through a drive through with food only due to COVID-19. After this pandemic ends, Brian Klein intends to continue running the festival for the foreseeable future.